Taylor Swift and boyfriend Travis Kelsey hold hands as they leave a restaurant after finishing their sweet dinner in New York City. On Saturday night, October 13, Taylor Swift and boyfriend Travis Kelsey were seen enjoying a sweet dinner together in New York City. Travis Kelsey was seen in a blue polo shirt and cream pants holding hands with his girlfriend Taylor Swift's girlfriend as they headed out to their car to leave after finishing their dinner, the previous night the couple also had a sweet date night. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's double dates never go out of style, the two stepped out to dinner in New York City with friends Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds October 11, with the couples photographed arriving separately. Walking hand in hand to the corner store restaurant in Soho, and speaking of style, Taylor wore a long, wool, camel Ralph Lauren coat, a Gucci GG net corset top, a black and pleated RTA Mason skirt, black Louis Vuitton Roxy platform stiletto ankle boots and a black Dior saddlebag, as well as her classic red lip, Travis sported a navy and white La Chemise jean printed bowling shirt, navy pants and white sneakers as well as a gold Louis Vuitton charm necklace, Blake arrived in a mesh. Burgundy dress with thigh-high slits, matching Valentino booties, fishnet tights and a multicolored quilted Chanel purse. Ryan was dressed in a white button-up bowed shirt with yellow trim and a navy collar. Navy pants, white and navy striped socks and tan suede shoes, Taylor has been friends with the married couple for many years. She and the Kansas City Chief star tight end have spent time with Blake and Ryan before, including in August, when they all gathered at the singer's Rhode Island house on the Gossip Girl alum's birthday, along with several other members of the Grammy winner celebrity squad. Since Taylor began dating Travis in summer 2023, Blake and Ryan have occasionally joined her in cheering on her boyfriend and the Chiefs at his NFL games. In February, the It Ends With Us actress was by the style singer's side as they watched her boyfriend's team win the 2024 Super Bowl against the San Francisco 49ers. The couples went on their double date in NYC days after Taylor cheered on Travis at the Chiefs' most recent NFL game, in which they beat the New Orleans Saints at Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium, and days before the Cruel Summer is set to resume her era's tour, look back at Taylor and Travis' road to romance. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's love story began in July 2023, when the Singers Era's tour made a stop at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, as a huge Swifty, the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end caught the show with hopes of giving Taylor a friendship bracelet with his number on it. However, he failed to complete the pass due to her pre-show rituals, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. Travis shared on the July 26th episode of his New Heights podcast. So, I was a little butt hurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her, meanwhile, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds showed up in their own daring looks. Lively, who famously styles herself, wore a maroon gown with fishnet cutouts. Thigh-high slits on either side of her dress, accented by lace-like detailing, revealed the matching fishnet tights she wore underneath, she styled her look with a pair of purple Valentino sole rock stud boots, allowing the chunky heel and lace-up leather of the footwear to bring a fall feel to her ensemble. A multicolor quilted Chanel bag dangled off her shoulder, and she further accessorized with a stacked silver choker. Like Swift, Lively wore her blonde hair in retro waves, Pulling her hair into a deep side part, Reynolds closed out the posse's elegant style in a white button-up shirt from Bode, taking care to spotlight the top's contrasting yellow trim and navy collar, the latter of which came embellished with yellow stars. He opted to style the shirt with a pair of tailored navy trousers, white and navy striped socks, and a handsome tan pair of suede dress shoes. He clasped his wife's hand as they entered the restaurant, and perhaps in a nod to Swift, wore a handful of beaded bracelets around his arm, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey may have celebrated his birthday together after all, despite the pop star's absence from his bash on Saturday. October 5, a source claimed the cruel summer singer, 34, rented out a restaurant on Sunday, October 6, to honor her boyfriend, 35, the insider claimed the musician, her dad Scott Swift, the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end and his family all went out to dinner at Sushi Hotspot Noka.
The Lovebirds pals Patrick and Brittany Mahomes were also allegedly at the meal. The restaurant is normally closed on Sundays, however, it is available for private events. The group apparently had an early night as the Kansas City Chiefs played the New Orleans Saints the next day. On Monday, October 7, Swift was spotted watching the Chiefs beat the Saints at Arrowhead Stadium. At the event, the era's tour performer stunned in a plaid ensemble, which she accessorized with gold faux freckles on her face. After his big win, the football player's brother Jason Kelsey asked Travis, You got any bi week plans? On the Wednesday, October 9, episode of their podcast. Of course I do, the star confidently replied, to which Jason tried to pry a more detailed answer out of the actor, if any of it comes out, in the press, I'm sure we'll talk about it on the show, Travis shared, as Jason conceded, saying, okay, cool, sounds good. Travis was seemingly alluding to his travels to NYC with Swift, as the couple was seen at Soho Hotspot The Corner Store on Friday, October 11th, Alongside Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, Swift stunned during the couple's night out while donning a Gucci corset. Platform Louis Vuitton boots, a black Dior bag and a long tan coat. Meanwhile, Travis stepped out in a printed Jakimis shirt, black pants and white sneakers. Travis Kelsey and brother Jason now feature in Julia Roberts' hit film Notting Hill poster after hilarious mix-up incident. During the latest episode of New Heights podcast, Travis talked about watching Julia's film after meeting her at girlfriend Taylor Swift's era's tour concert. However, the NFL star hilariously mispronounced the film's title as Nottingham Hill. I watched Hugh Grant in, um, oh, what's? Julia Roberts. Nottingham Hill? I watched that one. I enjoyed it, Travis said on the podcast, although someone off camera had corrected him. The hilarious moment quickly went viral, now, the official Instagram handle of New Heights Podcast took to Instagram to share the photoshopped poster of the film featuring Travis and Jason instead of the actress and Hugh Grant. Jason's face is photoshopped onto Hugh's meanwhile, Travis replaced Julia's face in the poster, Travis watched Notting Hill and gave his best attempt at a solo movie review, the caption of the post read, this sparked reaction from fans who flooded the comments section with one saying, this photo is perfect. Whoever makes these edits, I love you, an excellent if gigantic boyfriend, another jokingly noted. Travis Kelsey has a more sophisticated palette thanks to Taylor Swift's foodie influence, but the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end is still afraid to eat certain mushy meals. Kelsey, 35, told his brother, Jason Kelsey, in Wednesday's episode of their New Heights podcast that he is starting to open up to new cuisines, I know. My girl Tay is getting you opened up, Jason, 36, said. She's introducing new foods to you, and it has been one of the greatest things that I've been happy about. She is, the three-time Super Bowl champion acknowledged, Travis mentioned loving the Philadelphia-based Israeli restaurant Zahav, with Jason giving a shout-out to the hotspots chef, Michael Solomonov, that was awesome. I like that spot a lot the grotesquerie actor said before admitting he is still picky. Still, Travis said he will not eat certain foods that have a thicker texture. Are you in or out on curry? Jason asked, I'm in on, like, a light curry, Travis replied. The more it gets thicker and looks like a baby food or like baby s t, then I'm out. Jason declared that Travis has a mental block on dining on food that looks like poop. Food that looks like it just came out of a butthole? Yes, I do have a mental block for that, yeah, the NFL star confessed with a laugh. The siblings joked that Travis would be happy to eat Big Sky Chili as long as there was lots of cheese on top to mask the texture, just throw cheese on it. I'll be alright. Won't even know. Come out the same way it went in, he joked before apologizing as their podcast's producers giggled in the background. The football player shared that he is not into eating New Orleans-style food or anything that involves a soupy rice. It's like Puwai, he said of Jambalaya, Puwai. You talking about in color? Jason asked. You're still judging food by its color? You're still at this stage? Ironically, earlier in the episode, Travis reflected on his milestone 35th birthday this past Saturday, 
you turn 35.